everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today's video is going to be a sizing video on the Buff Bunny collection. Um, so I recently did a mini haul from the Buff Bunny collection and I just wanted to show you sizing for everything. I had a lot of troubles trying to find the exact sizing that I should be. I went off measurements but I just I wasn't sure and I wanted to do um, kind of like get reviews from real people who have tried the stuff on. And also, I live in Canada, Buff Bunny ships from the United States, and it's just, it's a hassle to return anything. You lose out in the exchange rate, and you have to pay shipping on the way back. So I just want to save that hassle and try to find, like, the perfect sizing. Um, I also have a haul from three, no, three pieces of clothing from Buff Bunny from a couple of launches ago. So I'll try that on for you as well. This isn't going to be a review on anything, just purely what the clothing looks like and what size I am and what size I bought. So just for your reference, I am 5'1". I'm about 115 pounds right now. Um, and in Lululemon for tops, I am a size four, I'm a 32D. And for bottoms, I'm usually a size four as well, but in the aligned pants, I take a size two. So this is the first top that I got. Um, I have no idea what the collection names are, so you can look it up on the site, but um, it's made of that new Nubre material, which is super soft. It's supposed to be comparable to Lululemon's Align material. Um, it is super, super soft, and um, it's very, very comfortable. It's got built-in removable pads, so they're not built-in, I guess they're removable. Um, it's supposed to be a sports bra, but it has a, a longer band so you can wear as a crop top and I love this but I just don't love the color um, so on the website it has a really nice bright vibrant blue I think it's Caribbean or something I don't really know um, but in person it's a lot more muted down it's kind of like a it's more green as opposed to a true teal or turquoise um, but it is not as vibrant as it is on the website um, and on camera right now it's more vibrant than it is person Um, so in this top, I have a size small. It fits perfect. Um, it's snug. I don't think I would want to go for an extra small. It's, uh, it's very form-fitting and hugging. It feels really good. I will probably end up getting another color. Just I just don't like this color. And these are the famous marble leggings. They are absolutely gorgeous. The print is just, it's the perfect marble. They're nice and high-waisted. It's a very soft, it's more of a silky feeling side material. Um, these are meals. I think these ones are called the Onyx ones. They have pockets and they are awesome. Um, that's the only reason why I got them actually because of the pockets. Pockets are super, super deep. It's a really nice fit and I got these sized in an extra small. Um, they are really good fit. I think the small would have been a little bit too loose. And I have another pair of leggings, the Athenas, I think, also ones with pockets, that are the extra small, and those are on the tighter side, but these are perfect. This is the Aurora crop top, I believe. It's also in marble, absolutely gorgeous. It is the most beautiful marble pattern I have seen in any kind of material, aside from actual marble. Um, but it, this is a crop top. I don't really know what else to say about that. So it doesn't come with um, a built-in bra or anything, it's just the material itself. So I'm pretty sure it's meant to match with a sports bra. Um, and I have this in a size small. It is perfect. Extra small would probably be way too tight, but this gives a nice little bit of looseness right here. So it's not just like sucking in everything and cutting that, like cutting your fat off and making that line. Um, I love this one. I would highly recommend it. I also have it in a light gray from one of her other launches. The material is more on like the nylon polyester side i don't know my fabrics but it's not as cottony feeling as the other ones this is the matching marble bra and i love it love it love it love it this is in a size small um the band is stretchy but it's a little bit looser so it's not kind of form fitting right to my rib cage but it's absolutely gorgeous the marble patterns are really well done This also comes with removable pads. I don't have them in right now because it's black and I don't have to worry about that kind of stuff. But then this is what the outfit looks like together. It is fantastic and just pockets, guys. I love the pockets, they're so great. I really don't know how to do those, the poses that people do to flatter the angles, but this is what it looks like on a real human without the, the angles and such. 
And these are the bomb joggers in black. These are absolutely gorgeous in the front. I love them. They're super high waisted. So I'm not actually really sure where they're supposed to hit on your waist. That doesn't create this weird little bulge. Um, they have pockets. It's a really nice thick fabric um, and the ankles just kind of hug you. Again, I don't, how do these, how do they make it look so good? Um, I don't have a butt, so they're not gonna look as good on me as the models. And these are in a size small. Um, I think I'm actually going to send these back because, again, forgetting that I don't have a butt and I can't make it look like Buff Bunny, the super high waist in the back, it kind of makes me feel like my butt is like this big and it's just one of, it just doesn't seem flattering for me. What do you guys think? Super comfy. Um, I definitely wouldn't have sized down to an extra small. These aren't loose by any means, they're still pretty fitted, um, so I wouldn't say that they're true to size. If you want them a little bit looser, uh, I would probably size up in a medium because it is a little bit more restrictive here, even if I don't have this waist tied up. Alright, so everything I was just wearing was from her most recent launch. My hair is getting all messy from putting all these sports bras on. Um, this is one of my all-time favorite bras. This is from, I think it's probably one of her first collections because it just, the fabric is great, the color is great, and the back design is just about the most beautiful design I've ever seen. But I got this in an extra small and I feel like I'm going to pass out because of the circulation getting cut off. Um, I would love to see this come back again, but like a longer band. Um, this is in a size extra small, and even without, even when I was a 32A, I'm a 32D now, it was still really, really tight right here. So right now it just feels like someone's like strangling me. So it's like someone's hands are on top of my shoulders and just pressing it in. So I can't actually wear this. It's sad because I think it's, it's the perfect bra. I love it. But, um, don't get an extra small if you're my size. It really just hurts. And I think these ones are the Luna leggings, previous launch as well. Um, they have pockets and they're great, but uh, these are size extra small. I can't remember if I just said that. Um, these are a lot more tight than the marble ones in the extra small. It is a different fabric. It's a little bit more cottony feeling. And I don't wear these ones too often because I do feel that they are a little bit too tight and with them being gray, it kind of shows off everything. Um, but yeah, pockets, pockets are great. So I just want to show you that for sizing compared to the most recent launch of her stuff. All right, so that is everything. That's a sizing haul. Whew, this is really uncomfortable. Um, I know that I said I had three things to show you, so the two things are on from a previous collection, and I just honestly didn't feel like trying this on. Um, I can't remember Ambrosia bra, maybe it came in a couple of different colors. I think I would like it if it was in white, but I just don't like this color on me. Again, this is a small. Is that a small? Is that true? Yeah, so this is in a size small. Um, size small for my size fits perfectly. So I hope you guys found that a little bit helpful. Um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave it, uh, leave a comment in the down bar below or send me a message. I am more active on my Instagram page than I am YouTube. I, I actually post maybe once a day or once every other day on Instagram, as opposed to once a year on this channel. So, so feel free to add me there at do it like Dolly. Um, I'll leave everything in the down bar below, but I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I hope that was a little bit helpful and I will see you in my next video. Bye.